there. Welcome back to Live is Strange Before a Storm. I haven't been here in such a while because of school reason. Anywho, this is what I'm gonna do episode 3. Hell is empty. Well, let's get on with it. Finally showing this face cam for the episode Previously, three. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Uh, Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Damn. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Is it still a mistress though? Oh, hold on. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. She's a bastard child. Is that what it means? I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. Uh, support. I'm right here. Good. I need you. <sighs> What's so bad about it anyway? in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends <laughs> Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long to like high school. Oh, I'm here. She was so alive, 
so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. Oh, drugs. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. You saw at the Overlook, Rachel. It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Oh, damn. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. Understandable. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Okay. Reasonable. Reasonable. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? <sighs> yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Uh, why not? Why 
not. If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. Kind of. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Are we still moving to LA or not? It's a group chat, okay. I was going weird. Sorry, guys. Group SMS. I, I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. Ugh. We're gonna see him later on. The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. I believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. Yep, yep. Hey, Mrs. Amber. Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Uh, sorry about tonight. Sorry that tonight turned out so uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Uh... Thanks. But why? But... Why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well... This must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. True. Yeah. It's super weird. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Press. Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Uh, James lied. Sarah chose money. Well, he didn't really lie. He just never talked about it, right? Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone. Until... I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. Okay. You're right. 
Okay. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Just got awkward all of a sudden. Dark. Hey, James. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you, too. Mr. Amber. Mr. Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. What are you afraid Sarah would do? Get Rachel I, addicted? I don't understand. Maybe. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety mm. first. I will. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. You know? Thank you. It hasn't been, been a year. Alright. There's nothing else. the music in this game. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Lion Crab. This is okay. This light needs more light.
How do we get more light here? Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Uh, let's see here. The Ying and Hadass Yang of Rachel Amber. Before us. We were so close to making our break last night. Hey, dude. Now... I don't know. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? May you always be safe. Sure. But from who? Your own kit? It's kinda cool. Mom, I can't right now. She used I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. A A A A A Zero 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 Zero. Totally. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Graffiti. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? Anatomy, herbology, herbology? Sure. Uh That's the one. Puff, puff. <laughs> Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Is that cool? Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. I said. Back on the train, I said. I want this decor in my room. An accomplice. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Flashlight. I just take out a battery. Is that even legal? All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Hey, check it out. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? It reminds us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. Not all of them. They're all lies. 
Uh... But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. Hey, no. Don't My like entire that. life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. You can trust me, Chloe. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'm honored. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That my real mother was gone. Oh, sad music, you know, all the thing, the stars, man, tragedy. I want to hear the music, but the fact that she's here right now. That she came here <laughs> for me. Oh, okay, I think the I start. need to see her. Is that wrong? No. Of course not. But it it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily. I've got my secret weapon. Chloe. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. <sighs> I have no idea where to start. I guess I go to Frank. I got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I, th I, I got that one too. I think I can handle that. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. <laughs> You do? The truck. Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. <laughs> I know you will. <sighs> but even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? You'll know. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak, you just go with in the my flow. dreams, he's there, and it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? So deep. Uh, Kinda. Rachel? Yeah. 
I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. Alright, that'll be the end of part one.